just happened. That just happened. You can break up the air if you want with your hands, but you don't have to.
if anyone has a chance to get up and go into that little room back there and find an A harmonica and a white case for me, my darling wife, anyone? Marilyn, is here. <laughs> Thank you. There's a brown bag back there that's got that A harp in it. And in the meantime, maybe we'll do something else. Welcome to the illustrious ancestors. Is this sound check? Or, is this, or are we just in? I think we're in. I think the sound check just happened. So you're right on time. Just see if there's one in the A. Just hold the A and see if it says A on the side. Alright, I gotta get the light. You'll feel it. There's something in one of them.
China and the neck was made in Mexico on the same guitar.
then this year when Henry Linus was putting all that garbage in his White Owl boxes? <laughs> that was a first. Many of these are firsts because that's what we do. That's what we do. We do firsts. Give me some funky, some dance, some first move. Yeah, that was funny because we were going to do. Oh, wait a second. Now let's do a little chase. Let's do Mr. Smith. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. 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 let us do I remember he was on Ballet Easy Rider. He was on two, Dr. Burns. Dr. Burns and Mr. Hyde? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
this is how we were going to start that other piece. <laughs> but but the boys took it where, where, where the ancestral wind blows. <laughs>
Wild Funky sounded good. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Wild Funky. Wild Funky. Wild funky. Wild funky. Wild funky. Give me that Wild Funky thing and we'll dance. We'll dance. <laughs> Wait. <laughs>
Is there a public house? They're not your friends. Not your friends. Not your friends. Not your friends. Not your friends.
different forest fires. John Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. You should have John Cruz over the age of 60. <laughs> okay, this is what's going to happen now. It's, I want a punky blues a la Island Fans. Indeed. Give me a punk. Aren't these guys amazing? I mean, we don't rehearse. Yeah, this is, this is happening now. Little pieces of it may have happened before in one shape or another, but they have not heard this song yet. This is the end of my virgin trilogy. Oh, God. <laughs>
Is the bar is so good for my new mom that I know. We'd like to do something a little bit more sensitive now. We do?
suddenly comes into focus. I was 10 years old when the coolest kid on my block was riding his bike after dark and was killed by a drunk driver. Everybody was devastated. How can a boy of such promise be struck down before his 14th birthday? At that time, I concluded life made little or no sense at all. Alexander was the kid who clearly had it all. A great athlete, charismatic, a lucky streak a mile long. That was until his fate, until fate cruelly struck his short life. The next day, our school had a special assembly in his honor. The boys of the New York Academy Glee Club stood tall in their crested black blazers, with tears welling up in their eyes, trying not to crumble while their hair, slick with brill cream, stood fast in the October wind. Hortense lay on her deathbed dying of brain cancer 
zonked out on morphine, hiding her chemo bald head under a sparkly bright blue turban, she wouldn't set foot in her house. From that point on, Mom figured Hortense was on her own. Ten days later, when I stopped by to escort her to the funeral, I found the front door locked. I stood outside of her house like an out-of-season Halloween spook, pleading with my mother to let me in. Mom, don't be ridiculous, I yelled up to her.
you so much. Give us your hands for this present Sunday afternoon. Hey, truth and the illustrious ancestors. Oh, no, we're just the illustrious ancestors. <laughs> but uh, tell your friends if this was something you'd think they'd like to see.